and get set for jiving and driving as Marty Moan takes his songs to dance halls across the country for a farmer's bash and he'll be telling us all about it. The singer whose work as an agricultural contractor helped him write a viral anthem. Here's a reminder of Marty Moan's Hit the Diff. Well, the dog that we work with, well, when the sun went down, with a flame from the pipe, which you're born night to the view of the lit man. We tried to fit tiny tractors in here a little while ago. We couldn't do it. Welcome to the couch, please, Marty Moan. Thanks for me. How are you? Not too bad. Oh, good. George, is that the first time you've heard that song? Or have you heard and it? Last. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, hang on a minute. Before we, before we start chatting tomorrow, you, you, you claim that you were a line dancer. Oh, yeah. When I went to America, uh, because uh, you may be unaware that half the population of America is female. Um, so when I went to America, my, my, uh, I discovered this line dancing thing. And I was quite good at it. Like, I was a jiver in the old yeah, days. Yeah. 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 So I took to line dancing really like a duck to water. Well, that's Introduced me to my first pair of jeans. A relationship I hope that is still carrying on, George. Is this <laughs> your first pair of jeans, you know? I was, uh, yeah. yeah. So I, I really like, you see, I like dancing. I yeah. adore dancing. Mm. And, and uh, so any kind of dancing, I'm up for it. Oh, well, okay. Hit the difference. I've seen people laying dancing to it, so we could, yeah. we could try. We, we could, could, yeah, yeah, we could. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 We could walk. We might convert them still, <laughs> uh, Marty. I, like I met you for the first time last year at the Ploughing Championships. That song was a massive hit with all ages. But generally, it's kids that really like, like that song. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, it definitely is kids that has it where it is. And then there was a few funny stories. The parents sort of had to listen to it. And then with the album we put out, there was other songs that at least was different types of tunes mm -hmm. for yeah. the parents. But uh, most parents, you know, they just come up to me and they'd be a bit strangling me, but they say kind of a selfie, you know, to still get the children over. But Absolutely. The children has it where it is. They're just, and they've, they've, they've a lot of, they can just keep listening, whereas a grown up would stop listening yeah. after so many months. They keep going and keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the diff is the differential. The song is all about driving, which is yes. that was your career for a well, long, long that's time. That's right, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, you're not doing that anymore. No, not, not as much. I'm actually doing more driving now between uh, venues and that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, I'm, not, I'm not, not doing so much. I still do the odd bit. It's like I've seen a new uh, track machine, a new lorry there one day along the road, and I said, I'd just love to go in for just 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but then leave again, you know, don't be stuck for 12 hours on it, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. maybe because, not. Because I got, you know, I got a lot of years of that, and I, I, I still an interest, surely. And uh, as I said, I definitely, uh, you know, I still like to go for the odd spin. That, but no, okay. the music, I'm loving, I'm loving life on the road with the you can do, You can do the Donald Trump thing. He just gets into the trucks and makes the boop, yeah, boop that's right, yeah, for yeah, the yeah, things, yeah, that's for right. the pictures. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, Hit The Dip was uploaded in 2015. Dean on, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, just well, a few days was just at the turn of the year from yeah. 2014. Yeah, so it started 2015. Started yeah. 2015. Yeah. So it's had 5 million views. You've that's got right. a new album and you're touring the yeah, country and involved right. in all these festivals. Has all this happened incredibly quickly? Like, did you expect it in yeah, two years? No, no. no the, the amount of done in two years on real. So, you yeah, know, it took me a long time to adapt because I was so used to, if you took a day off work, you felt so bad about it. But, yes. but uh, it took me a long time that, that even though I was working at the music, I was feeling bad. I was coming home feeling bad that I wasn't doing. Even though I was working at music, I didn't mm -hmm. feel it was work. And uh, it took me a long time to adapt to, you know, I was still working after I hit the lift come out for a right wee while and then uh, it, just, it just changed and it took me a long time to adapt, I have to say. It. It's kind of thing that if you're not, if you're enjoying it too much, it can't be work? Uh, no, yeah, that's exactly. So it's, for me, like, you know, even though you're, I'm doing more hours now than I probably, you know, yeah. and, yeah. you know, but still it's not, it's not even, you don't even look at it like that way, you know, it's, it's actually weird to wake up in the morning and be doing what I'm doing now, you know, things like yeah. this and it's great, it's actually. It's, but that must be, George, something that you, that you can relate to. Like, well, like I you. think in a way, you know, the difference now from music stars is he's had five million hits. Now, when Elvis sold five million records, he made a ton of money. <laughs> but, mm. but you're not making money out of five million no, hits it, on no. YouTube. It's changing, you know, yeah, yeah. And, and that's, that's the crucial difference. He's done something extraordinary. There's no question of doubt about it. But, but it doesn't, for, for people in this industry, they're not getting paid as well, really, as, as their talent merits. Mm. Mm. Okay, but, well, we, we do need to find a way so that songwriters like well, you well, can make is, some then, money. Well, it is, but then on the YouTube thing, for me, it's, it's it that got me out. 
but it can run over you just as quick, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. so years ago, I probably wouldn't have got out with that song, but I just put it on YouTube. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. it's in one way, it's 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 good, but then in another way, like you know, a hundred songs go up the next day. Whereas years ago, if, if you made it with one song, you made it. You were that was it. you're pretty solid, but now you're, you're it's it's a fighting battle the whole time to keep and there. You know, you're really going for it because you're you know you've got a new album and you song recover. That's right. Is, yeah. Is this as literal as I think it is? It's about recovering after the weekend. That's right. And sort of the Monday Club is years ago. There was they, you know. It's very hard to get people to go to work for Monday and they just next thing the weekend and meet you. In the song, it sort of says the tours is the only day that the, you actually work the whole day, you know. Right. Between turning in half day in the, on the Wednesday and going away the half day on the Friday, the weekend sort of. So that's, and I have seen it happening, you know, it's, 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 it's sort of I've seen it happening where just it's people just love it. Don't the be giving Martin ideas. We don't want you to be. <laughs> he can't be doing that. We've got a, a quick clip of Recover here. <laughs> I wonder if it takes an extra four or five weeks to finish an extension. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now we know why. <laughs> could, Drink could responsibly. Ask, Drink yeah. responsibly. Yeah, of course you can, George. Come here, listen, you know these pop stars, like, mm. are millions of women running after you, are they? Like, <laughs> I, I just the love... I mean, I, I'd love to be a pop star. Right. I mean, I think I would have been a great pop star. Yeah, well, as a... Oh, no, it does change the things a bit, but like as I said, do they going... rip your clothes off? <laughs> when you come out, no, we've well, had to, well, we've had a cordon around him all day yeah. outside in the office, George. It's just the way it is. Do they? Yeah, it, uh, it, it it is. The, it, it changes things slightly, but I have to say, now, in the pop scene, in the massive, massive, you know, some this massive band, One Direction, whatever, I have to say, like that amount. I have to say, when you go to that level, it's a whole different ballgame. For me, you know, it's, it's, it's that definitely for the amount of women, the females that actually like it. If we, I actually took out the t-shirts, hit the diff on it. And all the women started giving, where's the pink ones? So then we actually oh, had to get pink yeah. ones in. And I couldn't believe how many actually followed that. You know, I thought, mm. the one thing I thought when I put it out that any female followers, that was it, they're gone, that was finished. And I actually went the opposite. It actually it really does. worked. So, so it's, it's uh, I was very surprised. That was one of the big shocks I got, I have to say, George. I'm delighted feeling. to hear it. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Well, I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to the new single from Hook and Moan. <laughs> <laughs> Although yeah. it does sound like a knitting pattern magazine as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hook and Moan. All right, let's see if you've been sending anything in to us as our global nomad, Moncon McGann, is up in the kitchen with Chef Gary O'Hanlon. <laughs> Yes, welcome to The Sixth Kitchen, where News Talk's high noon presenter, uh, George Hook and singer Marty Moan. We're about to get a cooking lesson from Chef Leinster's best chef, Gary mm -hmm. O'Hanlon. For a fellow who doesn't cook a lot, could you, could you do that? Uh, no, I'd be always amazed by uh, how much, uh, especially even just see, uh, just cooking there. Uh, in the measures, I always feel it has to be, I need to know exactly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. see, 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 the, see the way, just stuff, just sprinkle a wee bit of that and sprinkle it. For me, that, it never seems you to work. You need to know what's what. Panic yeah, inducing. I, yes, Panic and, inducing. And, and timing different things, cooking at the well, same time. Well, talking about getting things right, we were talking about getting names wrong earlier on, and there's a message from Pork on WhatsApp, and he says, my name is Pork Whitty. I lived in America one summer on a J1 visa, and Americans found my name very difficult to pronounce. I went from being called Padrag to Padraj to Padraj. But once in an airport in Utah, was waiting for a connecting flight, I was summoned to the desk as, could Pedro Whitey come to the desk, please? <laughs> Porrick Whitey. Well done, Porrick. Fair play to you. Uh, it's just, it's bizarre and mad. Yeah. Uh, as this is all we're getting plated we're up, getting everything here. Um, yeah. There's right. also one from Sinead. And some pine nuts too. Uh, who says that she's been called Sneeze Chinese, but also there was a guy, uh, a Portuguese man, who thought that she was called Chinese, and he kept laughing, going, oh my God, your mother called you Chinese, that's hilarious. She was like, Sinead is not that hard, is it? So yes, we all feel your pain this evening. Okay. <laughs> we do. All right. now, okay, guys. We have, look at this, Marty. Okay, lovely. Tis yours. There. It is yours, and you're even though I try and avoid the green bits. But okay. uh, pasta is really interesting because pasta is really only about 30 years old. I mean, well, if, well, if you take people of my generation, we would never have eaten pasta. Well, that, but have you can enjoy it, it now. Like, yeah. We're out of time. That's all we got time for tonight, folks. Big thanks to all our guests. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be chatting with Venster and Irish rugby player Mike McCarthy, along with the author of Run Fat Bitch Run, Ruth Field. A big thanks to all our guests tonight. Emma Dale is up next, and there's a new special at 7.30 covering last night's Manchester atrocity. Come back to us tomorrow at 6 and goodbye for now. See ya.